Given a string containing an arithmetic expression, implement a basic calculator that evaluates the, the expression string. The expression string can contain integer and numeric values and should be able to handle the plus and minus operators, as well as the parentheses, the separate, like this, the round parentheses. So these are the constraints and let's look at an example. So we have this string, it comes in as a string, we should get this output. We have this string, we get this output. Okay. We know brackets give it like priority. But it's a pretty ingenious way of solving this. And this diagram is super useful for it. Uh, so what we're going to do is hop between the diagram and the code. So we have this expression, for example, we have the stack. And this is our layout so far. So this is our function passing the expression as a string. Uh, this i is going to be a cursor and it's going to point to every single character in this string in this string one by one. The number, we're going to see what that's for. This is the stack we're using, the results that we're going to give you at the end over here. And Sign value, you'll see what that's for shortly, and length. These are these are what we need to get this done. Again, this is a lead code hard, so uh, just bear with the process. Okay, there's a loop. We're looping through the entire length of the expression string over here, and then all everything that's happening in here is about to go down. So uh, let's focus on the for loop. Okay. Um, now, we're going to pick the first thing it's pointing to, C. So in this case, that's going to be 4 in here. And what we're going to do is check if it's a number. In this case, it is. So this br this branch here is going to fire. And number is going to be updated to 4 because four, cause number right now is 0. I started off with 0 up here. So it's going to be 0 plus parse int C, which is going to be 4 in here. So number is going to be four, as you can see here, and then nothing else is going to evaluate. This won't evaluate because we we have a number first, not a plus or minus. This won't evaluate because we don't have an open parent. This won't evaluate because we don't have a closed parent, and we'll move on to the next character. So i is going to move on to plus. Okay. Now, if you look at this comment, it says we use sign value to represent the positive or negative operator. And that's just what we're going to do. So this time, this is not going to trigger because again, we're dealing with this plus or plus or minus. So this is going to trigger instead. So this is going to trigger instead. And what happens there? Results is going to take what was in number. So the number right now, if you remember, is four times sine value, which is one at this, at this time. Sine value is going to What's going to have to sign values plus here so this branch is going to fire it's going to stay as one and it represents the positive or negative operator so this is going to stay as one representing positive number is going to be reset to zero because uh, we've seen this now not a number so it's going to be reset to zero you remember results is holding what was in number before which is four in this case and then none of these are going to execute then the loop goes again. Now a left parent is found. Okay. And that means none of this is going to evaluate, but this is. So when we see a parent for the first time, we're going to use our stack. We push to a recurrent result, which is four. As you can see, it wound up in a stack. It wasn't there. All of a sudden it's there. Then we're going to push the recurrent sign value, which was update, updated here to be one which is why this is in here. And then we're going to reset result and reset sign because again, open paren means a new thing that should be focused on, I guess, semantically. So you can see why this would be reset and this would be reset to its initial value as well, what it was in the beginning. Okay. And then we'll move on to the next thing. And then we see five and the same thing that happened here happens again. Um, this branch executes stores number as five because again number is still zero so it's going to be five 
and then it's going to come again because what's after five is two so it's going to come again so this is going to happen twice for the first time and that's how we're going to get 52 in this case sorry so because we're going to have five before and then five is going to come again this move from zero to five so five times ten is fifty plus parts n to c which is two that's how we're going to get 52 then it's not going to evaluate what number is what it is now then we get the minus and then we come back here right but this time sine value becomes negative one result is 52 in here and number gets reset to zero because we're seeing a sign that cancels it out okay and then we come back to another number the same story as this if you remember and let's just fast track and go down to the closing parent because it's the first time we've seen one and what happens here is this branch gets executed finally um, uh, the result right is going to be equal to the sine value times the number okay so what is sine value up until this point sine value because of this is negative one and so sign value times number what is number right number got reset did it did it get reset uh, actually no number is going to have a value right? it's going to be 12. yes it's going to be 12 because this is the last thing we saw and this was the last branch that executed so number is going to be 12 and so number times the sign value which is minus one plus equals the result so appended to this result um, i mean added to this result what was in result before and result prior to now is 52 so that expression is going to evaluate for the first time and then result is going to be updated to 40. nice so pop sign value so we're going to pop something from the stack for the first time is one is still there so the pop sign value is going to be one and then we're going to multiply that result by that pop sign value which is going to be a positive num positive number of 40. so the result is going to be four still going to be 40. second value we're going to pop it out only that this time again this is a value right but we know that two values cannot follow each other so the second one has to be a number um so this represents a sign this represents a number and that's why it's added in here to whatever result was here and then we reset the number again and that's how everything winds up where it's at we end up getting 44 results number is reset to what it was before sign value gets reset again then we do the dance one more time with the current result and that's how we just keep going until we reach the end of if we finish looping through the entire expression and then we just say result is equal to this 143 and of course number gets reset right um when we we do the final calculation down here right to catch that last this last plus 99 it's going to happen in here because num it's going to be a number and then sign value is going to come from here for that last step and then we're going to add it to results that came from evaluating everything up to here so that's that about that and you can see it's very procedural very a recipe like solution which is probably why it's so hard because you probably won't come up with this if you've not seen it before in one sitting right that's a pipe dream so let's um, look at the time complexity. We're looping through. I didn't find this section useful for the educated, so I skipped it. Skipped it. This where they compile the solution step by step is completely useless for internalizing how this works. Um, but we can still find on platforms this is very useful. So time for is all of n because we're looping through the entire string and space complexity in the worst case where most of the expression is a series of nested sub, sub expressions so we keep on having to add to the stack over and over and over again okay it's a bunch of brackets that's all see you in the next one ciao like comment subscribe share upvote thank you